reports by the United Nations Children's Fund, United Nations Agency, responsible for providing humanitarian and developmental aid to children worldwide, shows a worrying trend where one third of all young children in Uganda are stunted, yet the resulting effects are irreversible. The menace is jolted into poor feeding habits that often does not spare both children from humble families and those from the well-off ones while at school. Although the rich stand a chance of drawing equal with the situation by laboring to provide proper nutritional diet for their children, hope for those in rural schools lie in government. SNV went to Western Uganda after a report that indicated that Western Uganda, especially in Pungamu district, was the worst hit in terms of nutrition. It is here that the civil society through the Uganda Debt Network is calling on government to reimpose school gardening. Provide a line in the national budget and in the budgets of local governments so that they are able to provide farm implements for the schools in their, in, in their jurisdiction. And just do that, do that for only one financial year. We believe if, if a farm implement can take a school for more than one year. Soka is another region where school feeding is a real challenge, ladies and gentlemen, because they have uh, emphasized a lot of growing of sugar cane and without taking much trouble. Besides liberating peoples from perennial hunger, child activists believe it can lessen the burden on government to be able to channel resources in other areas. And our thinking, our initial computation is that once you do that, you do not have to continue spending as a government on that budget line. Several schools spend a big portion of their budget on nutrition, but with the current economic situation in schools where parents are struggling to pay fees for finalists, learners risk starvation. Modekai Mulisa, Julius Chitone, NBS, live at 9.